Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to install the leaked FK23 build on your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Uh, this has been rumored to be an official over the air update build in the future. Nobody knows for sure yet, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it right now. Uh, it's definitely highly recommended by me if you're looking for Jelly Bean on your Epic 4G Touch. So first of all, you can be on any build, any ROM, it does not matter. Uh, it completely overwrites everything. Also, I want to make a note, this does wipe your uh, data and your internal storage. So if you have any files, any pictures, anything like that, create a folder on your desktop and click and drag all of your internal storage over to you that folder to back it up because it will get wiped. So that's my disclaimer there. Uh, next, you're gonna need to click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description of the video is going to take you to this website. Big shout out to Garwin along with SF Hub, Sex Tape, and our Wilco 12 for getting this uh, leak going for us. Just be, be sure to thank them. But go ahead and scroll down, keep scrolling down, and you have other, uh, some download options actually. So you have, uh, one click options to download. There are rooted or stock, whether you want to be rooted or completely stock, it is up to you. I downloaded the rooted one myself because I do want root access. If you don't, if you just want stock, you can download the stock one. I highly recommend using the reset user data variant of both. Which, whichever one you choose, I definitely recommend the reset user data. The only way to use the one that keeps user data is if you are currently on the FK09 build, you might be able to use the keeps user data one. Otherwise, my personal recommendation is to use the reset user data option. Again, I believe both of them will wipe internal storage. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. But anyways, now uh, click and find the one that you want to download. Download it. It will be an EXE file. Then go ahead and open up that downloads folder that you do have. And you should see it is called right here, FK23 Rooted Restore. It's an EXE file. Now what we can do is double click on it and then hit run. Once we run it, we are going to want to extract it. So before we extract it, I recommend going to our uh, desktop actually. So go ahead and navigate to our desktop and on our desktop, go ahead and right click and hit create new folder. So hit new folder. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to recommend FK29. Was it FK29? I can't remember. Yeah, no, FK23. I'm sorry. Getting these builds mixed up. But anyways, uh, you can call it FK23. You'll see I have it on my uh, desktop. Sorry for the shakiness there. But now just go ahead and click on these three dots and then find that FK23 folder that we did just make right here. So FK23, select it, hit OK, then hit extract. What it's going to do is automatically extract the necessary files into that folder that we just created. Uh, it will take a little bit of time as you can tell, so uh, I'll be back once it's done. All right, once it's done extracting, you can double click on that FK23 folder we just made, and inside it, you'll see another folder called Odin OC. You can double click on that Odin OC folder, and then double click on this application here. This will open up our Odin one click. So here is our Odin one click. You'll see it says FK23 root restore. It could say something different depending on which variant you downloaded. But uh, now once this comes up, we're about ready to go. We just need to get our phone ready. So you can just power off your device. So fully shut off your Epic 4G touch. All right, and once fully powered off, we're going to need to get into download mode. To do so, press and hold volume down and the power button at the same time. Press and hold both of them. Keep it held down. And then this screen will pop up, this warning screen. Press volume up to continue. And then this will take us into download mode or Odin mode, whatever you want to call it. Once you are in this mode, you can plug your device into your PC now. So grab your cable and plug it into your computer. And you should see a yellow box with com and then a number pop up. This lets you know Odin recognizes your device. Uh, otherwise, what we could do is uh, if for any reason Odin doesn't recognize your device or if you have any issues, the main troubleshooting steps is to try a different cable. That's the main one. Please try different cables before you say it doesn't work. Uh, otherwise, you can try different USB ports. You can try reinstalling drivers. Uh, other than that, uh, you can also try using a different computer. Those are the basic troubleshooting steps with Odin. Once uh, that yellow box shows up, you're ready to go. Go ahead and hit start. And then this will run through and install the uh, leaked FK23 build on our Epic 4G Touch. This will also install the modem. So 
Uh, it's definitely the best way to install it if you want it rooted or unrooted. You will see a green uh, progress bar in Odin and a blue progress bar on your device while this is running. There's the blue progress bar there and you'll see a slight green one. This will take a bit of time so you're going to need to be patient with it. It shouldn't take any longer than 15 to 20 minutes. If it does, something went wrong. Try those troubleshooting steps I mentioned and try it again. But I'm going to let this run through and I'll be back once it is nearing completion. Make sure you do not let your computer hibernate, anything like that. Make sure you do not unplug your cable as well. All right, so it looks like it is just about finishing up. Once it is completed, it should automatically reboot your device. You'll see it says reset, pass, green, uh, green box letting you know it worked. And then our device should automatically reboot. And once it boots up, we should be on FK23. Uh, you, once it says pass, you can unplug your, uh, your device. You'll see it's taking me into stock recovery. I believe this is because it is doing a factory reset and stock recovery because I, I think I downloaded the reset user data option. But, but again, you should run into this screen after Odin runs through. And once it does that, then again, it's going to reboot. So I'm going to let it boot up and then I will be back once, uh, once it's on. All right, so just boot it on up, takes us to the welcome screen, choose your language. I'm not going to set any of this stuff up. I just want to show you guys I am on FK23. I will do a full review video of this, letting you know things. When this screen pops up, I recommend pressing the back arrow and then unchecking the optimizer. So go ahead and uncheck it. That's just something that I recommend. And then go ahead and hit finish, setup complete. And that should be just about it. So... Now, what we're going to need to do is just go ahead and swipe down, go ahead and go into settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, and go to about device, and you will see Android version 4.1.2, and build number FK23, there it is, potentially official, we don't know yet, as of this video, I'm not sure, but again, be sure to check out my review video, I'll be going over different stuff, uh, be sure to subscribe to me as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.